Martin Robinson. He's the principal of Springdale College in uh, Birmingham uh, in the United Kingdom and also an author and speaker. Martin, thanks for speaking to us today about the topic of discipleship. It's a hot topic. Can I start with a personal question? What works for you? What helps you to continue in your journey of following Jesus? Uh, I think there'd be several things and um, one of those would be times of retreat where there is an opportunity to really go at some depth with um, the kind of issues that you're stuck with or the kind of insights that you need to move on to a better place as it were. Um, reading, I like to read. Um, I think knocking around with uh, the community of the faithful, uh, good friends, and that would roll into um, the uh, accountability kind of issues. So having a mentor, having somebody that uh, I can confide in and work with at some depth. I think those are some of the kinds of things. Good. And you're not only a disciple yourself, you have an interest in making disciples. Um, what are some of the qualities that you look for in people that give you the clues that you're getting somewhere? I think what we're looking for is evidence that of good character, basically, which is manifested in behaviours. So um, when you see acts of generosity, when you see people just quietly uh, being a blessing to others in the church, to the community, uh, when you see people serving, um, uh, and when you detect in that serving that this isn't because they're looking for position and power, but because they just have a, a love for people, um, then you, yeah, I think, I think that's sort of the areas that we're looking at. We find that um, making disciples isn't as easy as we'd like it to be. Uh, it becomes quite difficult at points. What is there within the human soul or within the culture mm. that uh, makes it so hard? Yeah, well, I suppose um, for several thousand years, <laughs> since uh, the beginning of time in that sense, uh, we've all been dealing with the, the broader problem of sin and uh, the kind of uh, fallen world that um, uh, sin has produced, so we're all struggling with that. But I think it's particularly difficult at the moment because we're in a culture which is so profoundly individualistic, which defines freedom as almost license, uh, which defines identity as cutting loose from uh, the advice, the wisdom, uh, the insights of others. and always wants to go it alone. That cultural context is just so profoundly damaging to individuals and to the production of disciples, I think. As you move around in, in your role, but also in your personal relationships, what is there that you feel that you can bring to bear on that process of disciple making? Um, well, of course, moving around gives you the clue that actually there's a limit to what you can bring. Um, but I think wherever I can, I'm wanting to encourage leaders, Christians, whoever it might be, uh, to look at church life and build community. Uh, it seems to me it's community, community, community that provides the context for uh, some kind of countercultural uh, balancing of this individualism that, that is so corrosive. Of Christian character and Christian wisdom. So yeah, anything I can do to encourage the building of strong Christian community, I would say. Thanks so much.